And we've been living through COVID-19 for a while now. So you've likely heard of oximeters. They're a crucial healthcare tool needed to measure oxygen levels in blood. But for years, critics have been sounding the alarm, saying oximeters may have biased results, allegedly giving black and brown patients incorrect readings during COVID-19 and allegedly causing delays in treatment for these very patients. I went to two labs that say they're working to make oximeters for all. Oximeters measure oxygen levels in blood, but critics say if you're a person of color, the device may be assessing your levels wrong. According to a 2022 study, Black patients who are critically ill are three times more likely than white patients to have their um, oxygen saturation uh, measurements overestimated. It's not the first research to say so. A 2020 study concluding nearly 12% of oximeter readings for black patients are misleading. An inaccurate oximeter reading could make the difference between being sent home or sent for emergency care. As we can see here, hemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin are not the only chromophores that are absorbing light. These scientists of color at Brown University are working to combat that, developing new technology. We'll first walk into the laboratory and then we'll go through the air shower world. An air shower? Jakachura's team calls their approach unique, calibrating for differences in skin tone. So today what you're saying is that a typical oximeter does not adjust for melanin, even though as we see from this melanin line, the light absorption is different. Right. And we are trying to correct for this. Since blood cells absorb light, oximeters use light to measure oxygen blood levels. But for black or darker skinned people, it's not just blood cells absorbing light. Melanin, or their skin pigmentation, does too. This leads to what these researchers call misleading oximeter readings that overestimate oxygen levels for people of color. To learn more, we came here to the headquarters of one of the major oximeter manufacturers to find out just how they make these. So you ready for this? Joe Chiani is a co-inventor of Massimo's oximeter, first developed in 1989 and now used for over 200 million patients per year, according to the company. No stranger to the public eye, Chiani is uniquely aware of the scrutiny and the technology. We shine red LED and infrared LED. So here is your oxygen saturation. But does the device itself, when it's actively testing you, gauge melanin? Not exactly. We have a universal calibration. Kiani says Massimo's FDA-approved technology was calibrated to a diverse population with no clinically significant biases. So this is the lab where you do testing for the oximeter. In order to work on all patients, we created a system that could handle that. Kiani telling us he disagrees with data from the 2020 New England Journal of Medicine study showing potential discrepancies in medical care based on traditional oximeter readings. But Brown's lab continues defending the data. So a critical challenge with pulse oximeters is that the issue of false negatives uh, disproportionately affects people with higher melanin values of the skin. That false negative reading that everything is okay is where the danger really comes in. The team now awaiting a green light from the Institutional Research Board. We managed to make a new technique of doing the measurements by exploiting the electric fields of light. If approved, they'll test their oximeters on ICU patients alongside the medical gold standard, a blood sample, shining light on a controversial and critical medical device. And the Brown University lab tells me once they get approval to test their tool on ICU patients, they'll work towards FDA approval. As for inventor Kiani, he points out that there are major differences over between over-the-counter oximeters and devices used in hospitals for ICUs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.